السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Today we'll talk about some of my rough management style with people used to work with me at the time in the early 90s and later on. We bought the Islamic Cliff Building in 1991, and at that time we started to employ full-time workers to work with us. And I wanted the secretary, and she was a young. Bengali, uh, active, uh, motivated, uh, uh, vibrant uh, girl. Her name was Rabia, with a strong character and strong head. And she came in an ordinary clothes, but when she realized that this is Islamic leaf, she changed it to wear hijab and others. But we did not ask her to do that. But she was a strong head, and sometimes, quite oft, often, I conflict. I collided with the people with strong head. During the probation period with Rabia in 1992, we had to let go Rabia, and she came and demanded a meeting with me, and she told me why. I said I started to praise her and said that you are excellent, you are doing so and so and so and and you are and and started to flatter her too much. Then, at the end of the day, as a, a woman who wanted to have uh, the job, she said, if I have all these good characters and behaviors, and as you said, why you sack me? I couldn't be able to answer her, but it's our, my weakness to manage a strong head young woman. The second one happened to be another uh, lady, her name was Safiya. She was the country director of Islamic Leaf in Egypt at the time, and we chose Safiya as an Irish to be there as a protection to the Islamic Leaf at that time because the security and the government will deal with her differently to somebody else who was from Egyptian background or from Arab background. And she did very well, very well, very well, because my objective or strategy is that for for Safiya, and she was the first country director. For Islamic Leaf globally, but I had a pressure from the board of management say that actually she is not doing enough, and 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 she put the pressure on me. So I had a private meeting with her. I think 2002, 2003, something like this, or Yani at the time or 2004 or five. I can't remember but exactly this the year when no, I think four or five or even six. Uh, and we sat down and we had the same discussion that I had with Rabia maybe uh, 10 years or 12 years beforehand and she asked me the same question why 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 couldn't be able to answer but I was trying to swing like a politician to run away from the answer uh, to her the third character was uh, two young men. One of them was Dr. Adir, was a colleague of mine in Birmingham University, and his PhD was in agriculture and water, and my PhD was in medicine. And uh, he was a very soft man, very kind man, but very detailed man, and I hate the detailed people. So I used to uh, uh, yeah, put a lot of pressure on him, and quite often I was very harsh and tough and rough with him, which one day led him to stay at home suffering from uh, depression because of the way I treated him in this very inhumane uh, character of mine. Uh, the fourth character, uh, he's still uh, Dr. Adil, uh, uh, is, is, is one of the most kind uh, individual that I have ever uh, would, uh, dealt with or worked with. The number four was or is Mustafa Osman, who also has strong head uh, with a lot of opinions and uh, have his own vision uh, and 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 all this kind of thing. But now he's a superstar. During the time we used to sit down to discuss and agree on something. But because he has something else at the back of his mind, he used to go and do what he used to have in the back of his mind, but not what we agreed upon. And this was uh, the problem between me and Mustafa. And they also put him under a lot of pressure 
treated him very badly in a very rough way, very sometimes rude way, and this should not happen to do to be to anyone of those people. But uh, if you compare Dr. Adil to Mustafa, Mustafa was stronger in his character, so uh, that uh, did not have this bad negative effect on his character like Dr. Adil. I didn't stop treating people badly at this point, but actually uh, uh, also other young girls uh, like Samira, like Wafa, who I used to work with, uh, like uh, Suadud, like others who was in London, even a young uh, secretary was working with me in my firm in London at the same time. And when I used to call them, they hate to receive my phone calls. Uh, they have to run away from me because of my rough attitude and my harsh attitude at the time. But they were tolerating me because of the cause that we are sta- we're all standing for. My message now is an ayah from the Quran. To Prophet ﷺ, uh, said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala him, فَبِمَّا رَحْمَةٍ مِنْ اللَّهُ لِنْتَ لَهُمْ وَلَوْ كُنْتَ فَزَّنْ غَلِيزَ الْقَلْبِ لَمْ فَضُّ مِنْ حَوْلِكَ With the leniency and with the mercy and with the modesty and with all this soft character that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had put into your heart, Prophet Muhammad ﷺ, uh, Allah make you lenient with all your people. But if you were rough, tough and rude they could have left you alone Muhammad Sallallahu and this is my advice to any and every one of you don't be tough you can be firm don't be rude you can be kind but to the point but don't treat them badly when they are in your office whether they are colleague or they are actually people a uh, people under you and working for the organization, whether this organization is humanitarian, developmental, political, economical, social, whatever you call it. Don't treat people badly like I used to do. And now I declare I was wrong and I hope that Allah will forgive me before I die. And I hope that everyone I did something wrong to him or her and treat them badly, they forgive me as well. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh.